a lot of people use tattoo as an expression for themselves. Yes. And I noticed that you have a few of them. And I they usually plenty. have so many. Can you All tell us about some of them? Sure. Um, I started, well, my first tattoo always, you know, every young girl gets these ones on their back mm. that they wish they never got. <laughs> <laughs> but you but can't see them. So no, it's, like it's hidden. So we're not going to talk about that one. We'll talk about the ones that we can see. I started this to every time something changed in my life. Uh, maybe I lost a friend or I moved or I was starting a new venture or you know something dramatic happened I wanted to put it here to always remember it. So I started with the flower as new growth like starting something new. The water was to wash away the sin and the bad and then the dragonflies that I have here were to carry on those spirits of the people that I've lost. So that's how I started here. And then it just kind of continued because once you start, <laughs> you're addicted like, to I hear it. I it's like contagious it almost. It really yeah. is. It's like something in the ink that gets in your blood and it's like, go get more, go get more. It doesn't matter where, just go get more. <laughs> but um, then I have a few more. I have two on my fingers. This one is my sister's name, which is Alicia Marie. Uh -huh. So we're, she's my own only thing. It's just us, <laughs> me, her, and my niece and nephew. So, you know, I keep them very close. This one is Love is Love my ring finger, just kind of symbolizing that, you know, God is love, love is love, love yourself before anybody else can love you. Then these are some stars, I put this Milky Way of stars for my niece and nephew. This is Miami because it changed my life. We don't want to talk about that one anymore. Um, and then this is actually probably one of my favorites. This and one of my closest girlfriends, we have this tattoo together. She's the mother, uh -huh. Wait. Get the light. Push it in. I know. There. Ah, okay. We're back. <laughs> I'll go back to this one. Um, my goddaughter's mother has this tattoo. Her name is Tiffany. We went on a cruise yeah. two years ago, had the most unbelievable time ever, and then it ended like very crazy. So it was unforgettable. So you know you just had you, something to do. So to this do what symbolized love over money and money over love. Like, no matter what, we stick together. No matter the bond, no matter the situation, we always fly together, so. It was just something that we really wanted to do. The end of mine has like an arrow for the Scorpio symbol, and hers has a music note, because she was a very, very big rapper in the DR coming up when she was young, so. And speaking about music, because we're here on the Gibson and Buzz. Yeah. Tell us about, okay, we're here to see Joan Jett. Tell us about some of your favorite music. Instruments, artists. Uh, my favorite instruments, I would have to probably say saxophone. I love the sound of a saxophone. I think it's so classic. Piano, obviously, is amazing. Yes. Anybody could listen to the piano all day, all night. Uh -huh. And um, what else did you say besides instruments? Music. Oh, music. My mother was the biggest music collector ever. I mean, ever. I went to a Rod Stewart concert when I was 12 years old, okay? I sat. I sat. She was 12. I sat front stage. I watched, like, my mother's friends and my aunt's friends throw panties on the stage. Oh my God. I mean, it was amazing. So I grew up in a house where. My mother listened to everything, from classic rock, to hip-hop, to the 70s, to anything you could imagine. And I would have to say her favorite, like honestly, one of my favorite artists ever of all time would have to be Fleetwood Mac. I love Stevie Nicks. She just like, if I hear her right now, I'd probably cry. <laughs> but I just grew up listening to that. I grew up listening to, my father was big into classic rock too, so like ZZ Top and Little Skinner and Eric Clapton, so a lot of classics. and. That's, I tend cool. to still listen to that, and then obviously, you know, I listen to what's on the radio too, and the, the younger yeah, stuff, but I really, if I'm home, and I'm yeah. by myself, and relaxing, I just want to listen to really, really good soulful music. I love, love, love soul music, love it. That's really cool. So, okay, one last question. Mm -hmm. If there's anything you want to share with the audience out there about yourself, that, about myself. <laughs> that you want to share with them, what would it be? What would it be? Um, Go buy the makeup. <laughs> Please. Um, the website's launching in about a month and a half. It's BeSplendidBeRich.com. We are also adding here, starting in LA, a mobile airbrush tanning business, which will be custom, high-end salon, mobile airbrush tanning in your location. So we'll be serving all of the greater metropolitan area of Los Angeles. 
but for sure, I just want everybody to look out for the skincare, for the makeup, and um, give us a try. Try something new. We'll have to. Anyway, we're going to have to follow up on Twitter. Yes. And all over the place. Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's getting restless over there. Yes, it's getting noisy back there. Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Thank you. I'm going to leave these good things for you guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.